For this shot, my benchmark starting points are diamonds 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2 along the side rail near my body. The points of aim break up the end rail diamonds into decimals 3.5, 3.2, 2.8, 2.3, and 1.7. Note again that I am aiming directly at the diamond location itself, not at the edge of the rail inward as many systems do. I'm going to add starting from diamond one, and one actually shoots through diamond one on the end rail. The problem is this is not as consistent as the, as the others because this rebound puts you in the range of this pocket. If it goes a little bit long and just gets into this space here cleanly without hitting that tip, it usually has a good chance to go all the way around. Let's see if I can do it. So now working upwards, you start to notice a memorable pattern. One shoots through one, two shoots through 1.7, three shoots through 2.3, four shoots through 2.8, five shoots through 3.2, and six shoots through 3.5. I'm going to challenge you to figure out what seven should be based on the pattern I just showed you. All the numbers you've seen so far are based on a medium speed stroke. But what happens if you hit the ball harder or softer? How does it affect your line of aim? Here we have our 5 through 3.2. Let me just show medium speed to show that this shot pockets. Now you notice on a medium speed shot, it barely has the legs because it's such a long shot around the table. So on this shot pattern, unfortunately there is not a slow speed option. If I hit this slow, it's simply not going to have the legs. But if I hit it fast, it's not going to go through the number as memorized. It runs wide. The fast speed adjustment for this shot is about minus 0.3. So let me show an example. If I was at 5 through 3.2, that's my medium speed line, I'd subtract 0.3. 1, 2, 3, I'm down to 2.9. This shot should go with full power. If I hit this with medium speed, it's not going to go, but I can up my power in order to make this shot. To keep all these numbers organized, I've made a shot chart. I've actually done this for all of my bank shot patterns. This one here, I want you to notice that I've been a little more conservative in my fast speed numbers. Instead of using 0.3, which works on some tables, I find most tables work to an extreme of about 0.2. So that's what I put here on the shot chart. But you need to know if you are going to shoot harder, you're going to aim a tiny bit to the left in order to make that adjustment. Now we all know the balls aren't going to lie so nicely in live play. So let me just roll the ball here and get a live example of where it might fall and we'll analyze where it is. So when I look at the table, it's obvious that I'm shy of my 4 through 2.8 line, but I'm also kind of near my 3 through 2.3 line. In fact, when I look at the gap, the gap looks to be about the same. So I'm going to kind of split the difference between the two and see how that goes. This also works as a kicking system. Let me show you in the sort of wider extremes that it works. We'll do two through 1.7 medium speed. Lines us up for that kick shot. And we'll go to this end of the table. We, we'll do six through 3.5. No, that is gonna clip. We'll do five through 3.2.
Now, obviously to make this shot in the standard flow plate is a little bit trickier, but not that much trickier. The mathematical calculation side of this should get you very close. I'd say about 90%, and that final 10% is a bit artistic, right? Every good bank shooter is gonna tell you at some point they leave the system behind, and then they add their own finishing touch as they get used to the course of play. If they need to add follow or draw or whatever, and they need to get a certain leave if they're trying for it. So good luck out there. I hope this works for you. I know I've made a lot of cool shots using this system.